Hello there you guys, Crystal here, welcome back to Rosewolf. So, today is Monday, May 22nd. This month has gone by so incredibly fast. How are you guys doing today? Um, okay, so here's the here's the thing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Stuff has happened and I'm a little bit salty about it, to be very honest with you guys. Um I don't even know where to start. Okay, so Saturday. I did a live stream. You guys have either seen it live or it was uploaded to YouTube, so you guys have had all the opportunity to see it if you wanted to. Uh, I played Animal Crossing, as I always do on Saturdays, and my plan was to move out Shep, because if you guys remember, Shep moved into a bad, bad place. I wanted to move out Shep using freckles, because I thought it'd be funny, like, oh, ha, bringing back our most hated villager to move out one that we love, but then immediately booting her out to have Shep move back in, hopefully, to a better place. Um, see, here's the thing. No one picked up on this. My mods didn't seem to notice. I definitely didn't notice. You guys didn't notice. No one noticed this. I only had nine... Wait. Yes, I only had nine villagers at the time. Meaning, when I moved in Freckles last night, because I couldn't do it on Saturday because of the fishing tourney, uh, she immediately moved in without booting anyone out. <laughs> So we have Freckles moving in, and now we're up to 10 villagers. Uh, she is not staying. <laughs> I can tell you guys that much. All I know is that it's really been frustrating, so why don't we go take a walk down here. Um, this is a new place I picked out. This is where I want Shep to eventually be. In the meantime- oh wow, Katie's in our town. I think I just saw her ears. Yep, there she is. Um, in the meantime, Freckles is, uh, Freckles is back, so what I'm gonna do to correct my mistake, I'm probably going to have to move Shep out with another villager using Amiibo. Once that's done, I don't know who yet by the way, I'll figure that out, <laughs> but once that's done I'm going to move Shep back in by booting out Freckles. Now theoretically because Freckles is here he'll want to be right where she is and that will be perfect. Um. I don't know who this other villager is, I don't know if they'll stay, I don't know if I'm gonna make them a joke villager. Regardless, if you guys want my Shep or Freckles, I will be doing the raffle for them. Uh, here is where Shep is. By the way, I looked into this space. So, I wanted the house, like, in, in this little area right here. This is where I wanted the house to be. Um, it turns out that this, pretty much these squares right here, are all apparently too close to the town plaza, which makes no sense, but it's true. Uh, I was testing it using uh, a 3x3 public works project, as was suggested by one of my mods, and I could put his house here. I could, but then it's uneven with this side, and that would just bother me far too much. <laughs> so what we're gonna do instead is move him uh, down to that spot that Freckles is currently trying to place her rear end in. Um, I did do a little bit of flower arranging last night because I was really pissed off <laughs> and I wanted my town to look good. Also got rid of the roses and everything in here because I wouldn't have minded if she moved in here either. Like, you know, far away from me and behind the town hall, that would be fine also. But, uh, but yeah, it's been kind of a frustrating day. <laughs> anyway, uh, yesterday I didn't do very much. I did find three fossils while I was running around rearranging flowers, um, and that's about it. Nothing much. So let's just uh, whoopsie, say hello to villagers, do our dailies, that kind of stuff. Uh, growl at freckles a little bit, maybe. Hello there. Oh, this may seem sudden, but I. Melba, why? No! No, you're not allowed. You're too cute. No. No. Bad Melba. Good. You are staying right here. Your house is in a good place, you are not allowed to leave for a little while. <laughs> I'm not saying she'll be here forever. If you guys decide that you want another normal villager, I'm up for that, but... Oh my goodness, Mac, how's it going, dude? <laughs> uh, let's see. What's the latest, dude? You can't always look at the ground, sometimes you gotta look to the stars. If you press up, okay, in tutorial, I've been playing this game for five months, nearly six. I think I know what I'm doing by now. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is 
like cranky central in here. Hello, Gaston. Hey, you're here to see Wolfgang too. Ah, uh, did you need me for something? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, that's right. That fortune teller is in town today. What was her name again? Oh yeah, Katrina. I think I'll peek my head inside her tent and tease her for a bit. Oh my goodness. How's it going, dude? Uh, wanna chat? Yo, Crystal! You said you wanted a Sunday tank, didn't you? Did I? Huh, come to think of it, maybe it wasn't you. Well, since I already bought this item anyway, why don't you just go ahead and take it? You've always been a good sport. So here, it's yours. Next time I see something you might like, I'll buy it. You know, if I feel like it. Alright, well... Too much crankiness for me in one... One small area. <laughs> um, but uh, but yeah, this this whole villager moving in and out thing is kind of starting to get to me, I think. I really want them to be in the perfect order, and I've never really dealt with this before, so I think that's why I'm a little bit cranky. Like those guys. Um, also, I did not buy turnips yesterday. Um, there was... I think they were selling for like 108 per turnip, and that's just a little bit too rich for my blood, so... I said no. Um, let's see here. Down here, all of these are going to be the flowers that I'm going to surround um, Shep's final house with, because right now that is not where he's staying. Um, so they're all just kind of down there waiting for him to move in properly. Hello there, buddy. How's it going, Bob? <laughs> I really want to replace the Azalea bonsai I have with something else. Let me know if you have any ideas. Okay, so I think that's something that goes up on a table, right? I'm going to assume at least. I'm not really sure. <laughs> but yeah, I could only find three fossils yesterday, which is kind of frustrating. <laughs> I can't remember how many we found the day before. I'm pretty sure we found all of them, but maybe I'm wrong. Giant pear. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. You've been sleeping, Pesh. What is- do you have a thing that measures your height? Like, what- Oh my goodness. Uh, talk to me. The other day I had a totally rotten pear. Oh, no wonder you were dreaming of giant ones. I'm still not sure how I didn't notice till I ate it, but I've lost confidence in my senses. You, on the other hand, think you could bring me a nice fresh pear? I need a good one to get the rotten taste out of my mouth. Is that cool? So cool. I'm down to doing that for you. Uh, we also had a public works project suggested yesterday by, once again, O'Hare. He seems to be the one to suggest them all to me. Um, he wants to put in, I think it's a, called a chair sculpture or a giant chair or something weird like that. I don't even remember what one that is really, but I guess we can check it out later on if I remember. I still put in the street lamp also, because I keep forgetting. I cleared out the flowers that were kind of cluttering up over here. I did quite a lot of work last night. I actually played for like a good hour. And I haven't really had time to do that recently, so it, it, it kind of felt good, honestly. Having the extra day off has been really, really nice. <laughs> um, Alright, so those are just some roses that I had hanging around. Okay, not what I need. Oh man, we did not get lucky this time. And we're also, we have far too many of these white pansies. We're gonna have to start getting rid of them soon. Uh, they're kind of taking over every inch of our town. Alright, so I'm gonna continue searching up here. I have not seen a single fossil. Am I just blind? What is, what is this? <laughs> uh, nothing. We can say hello to Katrina as well, I guess, since since she's right here. Great happiness from the stars attempting to visit you. I, Katrina, can reveal your future and the way to capture fortunes and told for a mere 500 bells. Please. Oh, 
Ah, oh, yes. It's come into view. On a cliff overlooking a spectacular view is a soul beach. Bench. Not beach. Bench. Sitting there side by side are two pelicans. Are they a couple? Are they something else? In this place I can see the signs. Oh yes I can. I see good fortune upon love. Each striped... That's so specific. <laughs> this item will be the key to truly unlocking your good fortune. What even is that item? <laughs> You happen to find you and yours. Remember that bad times are just times that are bad. Okay. Well, I don't have that item, so hopefully my love life doesn't go down the toilet. Okay. So. Uh, well, there's one. Are they just... All up on the second- actually, you know what, I didn't finish looking at the, um, at the- I'm blanking here- at the lower section of my- of my town, I just kind of went through half of it, so. Maybe- maybe I'm not completely blind. I will talk to you later, I need to drop you off somewhere. <laughs> One episode, I have to do that, but I have to, like, know that she's gonna be in my town ahead of time to do that, and that's just frustrating. <laughs> But one time we will do that together, just to show off that, uh, feature, I guess, of the game. Uh, Mac won, Robin came in second, and Bob came in third! What is this? Alright, listen, Bob needs to win everything? No, I'm joking. <laughs> Bob needs to step up his fishing skills, clearly. Okay, there's one- whoa. Swap, what am I carrying? What do I have on me? Too much, that's what. <laughs> I know I'm not supposed to be planting roses. I'm not really. I'm just putting them down. <laughs> uh, and I'll just stuff these here, I guess. Because that's where I've been putting them all so far. It's just up on this top corner of town. There we go. That's enough room. Okay. But yeah, I've been having so much trouble with uh, plot resetting recently. I used to just you know, get it, especially with the path method, but I don't know whether the game's just being mean to me or if it's like catching on to my like, you know, kind of sneaky ways or what, but it's frustrating, man. <laughs> I've already spoken to you two. I think I've already been up here, have I? Uh, oh, hello there. So we're missing one more, I think, which is right there. Awesome, good stuff. Okay, so that was all of them, uh, I think. Oh, there's Robin, let's say hello to her. Hello there, Crystal, running into you all, uh, blah, 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 blah. I don't know why I read these intros, they're all the same. <laughs> If you want to keep your skin looking young, you've got to avoid UV rays from direct sunlight. But I say, bring on the UV rays. I am equipped with an arsenal of skincare products to defeat you. Don't you mean, like, feather care products? Oh, I love her. <laughs> okay, so this up here is where I was placing my uh, plot resetting house, so I am going to have to fill in these squares here so no one else can plant their house here. That would suck. <laughs> uh, yeah, that should be good. No one can, no one can sit there without my uh, direct permission. Uh, kill a fish. All right. So no, we don't have any of those. Let's go donate these fossils. Well, I mean, rather, uh, get them checked out. Then we will. I guess we can look into that public works project? That might be something we can do. Also shopping, because I've been really neglecting that recently and I feel like our shops are kind of behind. Bam and Flora come back to haunt us. Mm. 
Okay. Not that any of these fossils were going into the museum, but... Oh, you know what I haven't done yet? I don't think I've checked out my basement since I had it expanded. Because I'm pretty sure I did that. Didn't I? I don't really remember. <laughs> we should do that. And maybe also, if we haven't already, we should speak to Nook to get our next home loan. Although I don't remember... I always forget where I'm at. If I've paid it off, if I'm in the process of paying it off, if I've paid it off but I haven't spoken to him about the next level yet, I always, always, always forget. Welcome, welcome! Oh, yep, okay, here we go. It's Crystal, so good to see you. Oh, happy day, you've paid off all your home renovation loans. See, I thought so. And your reason for being so very diligent is no need for words, I can see it in your eyes. Not engaged, blah blah blah, we've read this a thousand times. Do I want anything in here? I might change my house soon, I don't really know if I like the look of it anymore. Not to, not to something like that though, that is like the one house design I'm really not fond of for me personally. Alright, so I'm not going to talk to him just yet because I want to rearrange the furniture on my uh, first floor in order to reflect the different rooms because the doors take up a lot of space. You can't put stuff against the walls there unless you, you know, just don't want people being able to go in there. <laughs> Okay, so, sell off this stuff. First chore. Ooh! I haven't caught that yet. Those things are really annoying to catch, though. There we go, nice. Pond skater, why aren't they called pond skiers? Th those things usually take me a little... Like, it's, just, it's not hard, it just gives me a little bit of trouble catching them, but... That went pretty well, so let's hope I don't sell that by accident. Okay, so I want to sell. Uh, ooh, no, don't sell that. I think it was Arcadis who gifted me that perfect painting, which I don't know if we have in our museum yet, so I'm going to check that out first and foremost. Alright, sounds good. I don't think I want any- you know what? Mm. I might want an older looking TV, just because, um, if it, like with some newer TVs that you might uh, encounter in real life. Uh, they might not be able to have the connectors to play older games, so I might get this just for my recording room. Give it just a little bit more, um... I don't know, it just makes it a little bit more realistic, I guess. You cannot have that, that's for Bob's house. Oh. Do you want the tiger? You know, that's kind of cute. You, you, you take that. <laughs> you should buy. Thanks to you, the fog in my mind has cleared and a strong decision has been made. I... We'll buy this item. Hey, Reese, I'll take this item today. Okay. Awesome, okay, good stuff. He's such a cutie. He's also really, really good about suggesting public works projects. Above all others, he gives me the most. Don't know why. Okay, so. Uh, let's go down to the basement, sort out the furniture down there. Bob, stop creeping on my house, please. I love you, but please, <laughs> it's not done yet. But yeah, eventually, I think the next room I'm gonna want to put in, uh, since we have our fully finished basement, is gonna be the... Hmm. Maybe the back room? I don't know, I'm kind of tempted to do a side room first, but then the house looks uneven and it really bothers me. <laughs> I know it'll have to look uneven actually anyway, but I don't know. I'm really irked by that kind of stuff. <laughs> oh wait, no, I did move it. Wait, is this is not fully done, right? 
No, it's not. Oh, yay, we still have another basement then. That's good. <laughs> that means that I don't have to worry about which room upstairs to do. Uh, so let me, like, stuff this right here for now. I wonder if I can get that changed, like, uh, remodeled to fit this room a bit better. Um, alright, so, let's see here. Let's go up to the museum, try and donate these things, see if that painting is even real or not. Um, and then I think we'll do some shopping. And then if we have time, we'll go look at the public. Did anyone else see that net just spawn? Like, just pop into Bob's paw, I guess, hand? Did, did anyone else just see that witch <laughs> Are you okay? Are you, are you magic? Oh gosh, she's gonna go disappear now. <laughs> oh gosh, she's staring back at me now. I'm kind of scared. I'm gonna go now. I think I just witnessed something I wasn't supposed to see. Oh gosh, title of this episode is gonna be like Magical Bob or something silly like that. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> it was gonna be Freckles is back, but I guess I can save that for next episode when she's actually here. Uh, make a donation. Let's see here. Okay, good. I don't have a perfect painting already. Okay, good. Great stuff. Okay. So, on to shopping, because I've been super, super lazy about that, especially the uh, the tree from the garden shop, because I don't even know why I've been so lazy about that. I have time to do it, I just don't. <laughs> shopping is just not really my thing, I guess. I still, to this day, have not decided on a floor and wallpaper for, uh... For my bottom room. I'm gonna buy this for the bottom room. Or the basement, actually. But yeah, if you guys have any suggestions. I know I want something very dark. And... Uh, the only thing I'm kind of interested in doing is like... Um, if you see, like, uh, other YouTubers' rooms or, like, recording studios, they have, like, soundproof, like, foam, usually, walls. That's kind of what I want, but I, I don't think there's anything that's gonna match that. So, like, my best, next best bet would be to have a second character and have them with that QR code or design. Um, but I don't, I don't know if that's gonna work. <laughs> I don't really want another character, to be very honest with you guys. I know a lot of people are just saying, oh, like, you know, just make a mic, but, like, I'd feel guilty about not playing him often enough, and then, like, he'd get bedhead, and then it'd just be awkward, and... I don't know. I don't know. Okay, let's buy this tree from him. Awesome. So not today, but I have a feeling we're getting really close to what we're uh, aiming for with that. And I'm not really inter interested, rather, in checking out clothes just because we got new ones recently. Okay. Okay, so, um, maybe I should go down to the beach and water our white pansies, although we're getting horrible luck with that. Also, wait, who was it? Pashmina wanted a pear. Oh, wait a minute, we can get our- I forgot- I completely forgot our native fruit was pears. So we can grab her one of those. We could also- Oh no, it's just too early, we can't see Shrunk. 
Gosh darn it, that would be a nice ending to the episode. Oh well. I'll visit him off screen later because we do need to get going on those uh, emotes. Pajmina, I have your, uh, your fruit. I was thinking our native fruit was oranges, but that's in my other town. I completely forgot. That's really sad considering there's perfect pears everywhere. Alright, so please take this. Here you go, I hope you love it. What? Could this actually be a perfect pear? It looks so delicious, time to dig in. Mmm. I can't get over this perfect pear, it's crazy good. Woo, that was better than what I was expecting. I'm gonna give you something great in return. Here. Here. This is my treasured Rococo chair. Thank you. That'd be awesome if I was going for the Rococo theme. I mean, she does have Rococo in her house anyway, but... Aw, oh, that would have been great if, uh... If I was going for it. <laughs> Okay, uh, so let's check on our flowers down here. There we go, okay. Um, so this has been a super slow process. Just, just to show people, I'm gonna be watering the blue ones up by my house also so that you guys can see 100% for sure it's it doesn't work. <laughs> At least it hasn't been working for me, unfortunately. I know that it can, because it happened for me once, but it didn't work after that, so... I missed one up here. There we go, perfect. And you know what? While I'm at it, why don't I spread them out by my house, too? I, I want to have them in a... maybe like a checkerboard pattern. So that there's more chances for potential blue ones to spawn in. So I'm gonna steal this one, and this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. And I'm gonna put them up here. <laughs> I kind of feel like people don't know what I mean when I say checkerboard pattern, unless I show it, so that's kind of why I'm doing this also. <laughs> That's good. Awesome. Alright, so I'm gonna water these also, just to show you guys. As you can see, these ones are all dripping. Thank God for the golden watering can. It is so, so useful. And there's just this one right here, once again, that I've missed. I also think I need to start breeding more of these purple ones for areas one, other than around Bob's house, and two, this unevenness here, how there's two on this side and then like only one row on this side, that bothers me a lot. Uh, okay. Let's go and talk to Isabel about public works projects, because I still haven't forgotten. I think, I don't think the chair is gonna be what I want, but we'll see. You know, you never know. Uh, okay, so public works projects. I want to start a new project. Um, okay, let's see here. Chair sculpture. Oh, that is a giant boot. Don't tell me otherwise. Nope, where's, where's that? There we go. This is what I want. <laughs> We're not gonna have a giant boot in our town, thank you very much. Although, you know what? Now I'm kind of stumped, because I want to put something in that little garden I've created, that area where Chef was going to be, but I actually don't think I can fit in anything really in there, like, that's gonna be centered, because of the plaza, and I am so salty about that still. <laughs> so annoying. Hi, Mac. I want to put it right here. 
so one up for me. Hopefully you realize where I'm trying to put this. Okay, so far so good. Yep. That's it. I think- can I just pay that off right away or was it 39? I don't think I can pay it off right away actually. I can't so I'm just gonna wait until I can. <laughs> Anyways you guys, I am gonna have to end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. We'll- we'll sort out the Freckles Shep slash third new villager situation. It's really frustrating but I promise I will get it done. Uh, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode and I will see you guys next time.